The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Pennsylvania. <laughs> Do they hula in Harrisburg? Only if nobody's looking. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you think Mr. Mooney would loan us enough money to get to Hawaii? Oh, sure, if we went by surfboard. <laughs> oh, I'm just dying to get there. I'm doing fine in my hula lessons. Watch me now, Lucy. Um, that ain't feeling funny. Every movement has, a, has some sort of a meaning. It really means something like that. Now, what does this one mean? It means you're not wearing a girdle. <laughs> well, I look a lot better with my grass skirt on, but I just washed it. You washed it? Sure, what'd you expect me to do with a grass skirt? Mow it? <laughs> Get down, will you, Bill? Okay. A walkie on the floor. Oh, hi, Mr. Mooney. Mrs. Bagley, you look lovely today. And Mrs. Carmichael, you are your usual gorgeous self. Mr. Moody, I never knew you drank. <laughs> I was just drinking in your loveliness. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, unbelievable as it may sound, I need a favor from you. You need a favor from me? Oh, that's a switch. Yes, you see, we're having our house painted, and I was wondering if I could leave my green back here. Well, now you can leave all your greenbacks here. That greenback is my bird. Oh. Yes. Oh. It'll only be for the day because the smell of paint makes her ill. Oh. It makes my wife ill, too, but nobody will take care of her for a day. <laughs> I guess it's sure little girl. A bird, huh? Yeah, we are. Oh, isn't that Oh, darling. she's beautiful. Yeah. What is she? Well, that's a cockatiel. Oh, a cockatiel. Oh. Well, we'd be very happy to take care of her, Mr. Mooney. Good, good. Of course, I could have left her at the pet shop, but I hate having her associate with those common birds. <laughs> she might pick up some bad language. Oh, oh, well, don't you worry. I'll watch her like a hawk. Ah! Oh. <laughs> What'd I do? She heard you say H-A-W-K. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Well, Carmichael, yeah. can I speak to you for a minute, please? Okay, Charlie. Look, I have to go back to the telephone company to pick up some more material, so I'm going to leave my uh, equipment in the backyard, okay? Okay. I'm afraid you won't be able to use the phones till I get back, though. That's all right. I'll see you later. Okay, Charlie. She's the cutest thing. Oh, she's beautiful. Does she say anything, Mr. Mooney? Does she know any words? Oh, yes, 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 oh. she talks. I, I taught her myself. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, I'm Greeny. Uh, say something for the nice ladies. Come on, say something. E pluribus unum. E pluribus unum. E pluribus unum, my favorite word. Oh, adorable. What do you feed her? Uh, well, now, here are typewritten instructions covering everything that you ought to know. Uh-huh. Well, I'd better be going. I'm... Oh, she'd, she'd never forgive me if I didn't say goodbye. <laughs> Come on, Green. Come on. There. Goodbye, greenie weenie. <laughs> bye, bye, Popsy Wopsy. <laughs> she 
calls me Popsy Wopsy. <laughs> now, you'll be a good little bird, won't you? Yes, you'll do whatever the nice ladies tell you to do, won't you? Oh, yes, that's good. All right, now, don't be a naughty little birdie. Now, Popsy Wopsy will see you this evening. Bye, you'll behave bye. yourself, won't you? When he says goodbye to his wife, he just shakes hands. <laughs> you. Every time you ask Mr. Mooney for a favor, he turns you down and he comes over here and asks you one favor and you accept him right away. Well, I happen to be a very nice person. Oh? Yeah. Besides, I got a sneaky little trick that might make Mr. Mooney raise my allowance. Uh-huh, that's better. <laughs> What's a sneaky little trick? Well, I just thought maybe the way to Mooney's heart is through greeny weeny backy wacky. Yeah. Greeny. Greeny, come here, Greeny. Repeat after me. Give Lucy more money. <laughs> oh, that's a terrific sneaky trick. Do you think you can teach her to say that? I don't know, but it's worth trying. Come on, pretty baby. Give Lucy more money. Give Lucy more money. Come on now, if you don't say it, we're gonna write it on a piece of paper and rub your beak in it. <laughs> you scared her. You don't understand birds. What do you mean, I don't understand birds? The only way that that bird will learn anything from us is if she loves us. We have to make her feel she's among friends. Well, what do you want us to do, grow feathers? <laughs> no. We'll give her fresh water, we'll feed her, we'll clean her cage, and then she'll love us. Oh, listen, I fed, watered, and cleaned the cage of that bird I was married to, and you know how that turned out. <laughs> I got something else, Pip. I bet your green black's gonna love this little mirror. Oh, dear. Why don't you get that bird a statue? A statue? Yeah, all birds love statues. Oh, man. <laughs> you bought that bird so many presents, you can hardly see her in the cage. Oh, yes, you can. She's down in there somewhere. Viv, <laughs> there's no bird in here. Did you leave the cage door open when you put the water in? No, I didn't. You must have left it open when you fed her. No, I didn't. I did not leave the door to that oh, cage open. Oh, Bill, you must have. I didn't. You let's must have left it there. Let's not yell at each other. Let's not yell at each other. Yeah, let's save all of our strength for when Mooney tries to kill us. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta find her. We gotta find her. Here, greedy, weeny, backy, wacky. Where was you? I heard her. Oh, I heard that her. was me. That was me. I thought maybe she'd answer something that she knew. Oh, oh Lucy. Don't sit down, Bill. Sit on her. Oh, don't say Well, she could be anywhere. Maybe she flew under the sofa. Oh, how could she get? Maybe she's under the chair. She might be. Oh, hooray! Did you find her? No, but I found some more stamp. Oh. <laughs> Listen, go out in the garage and get the flashlight. She may be under here, but it's so dark I can't tell. Okay. Here, Greeny Weeny. Vote for Dewey. <laughs> Boy, I got a sweep under there, moron. <laughs> Lucy, I found her. Where? She's out on the telephone pole. A telephone yes. pole? Oh, we gotta get that bird or we're dead ducks. Yes, <laughs> Where did you see him? Right on the pole, on that telephone pole. Which one? He was right up there on... He's right up there. Oh. See him? Right up there. Oh. oh. Come on, Greenback. Greenyback. Here, I'll Green handle back. this. I'll handle this. You come down off that wire this minute. Do you hear me? Right this minute. Boy, you've sure got away with birds. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna have to climb up there and get her. Oh, Lucy, you can't do that. You'll get a shock. Well, I'd rather face a few thousand volts of electricity than one angry Mooney, I can tell you that. <laughs> Besides, the phone man was up there. Yeah, but he had on rubber shoes and gloves and things like that. Well, go look for something. Okay. Gee, I hope you know what you're doing. Don't worry about that. Come on, greeny weeny, backy wacky. Come on, honey. How would you like something to eat? Want something to eat, honey? Come on, honey. Come on. <laughs> Never mind that. <laughs> My 
My stretch pants just overstretched. <laughs> well, don't you get that wrinkled. Wrinkled? <laughs> Yes. Well, I got these swim fins of Jerry's and, and, a, and a butterfly net and some asbestos gloves. Well, good thinking, Viv. What do you mean, good thinking? I'm getting just as kooky as you are. <laughs> oh. Now, go get the big ladder for me. What do you want with the ladder? I need the ladder to get out on the roof, to get out on the pole, to get out to get the bird. Now, get going. Oh. Yeah, all right. Uh -huh. ah! When I get my ends on you, you're going to wish you were never hatched. <laughs> but you can't understand English. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to go out on that pole and get her, that's all. all right. <laughs> if I wanted to be careful, I never would have moved in with you. <laughs> Viv, you're gonna have to give me a boost. Give you a boost? Yes. Come on. Okay. I don't mean with a butterfly net. <laughs> You watch me get up on here. Am I near you yet? Not yet, honey. Back up, back up, back up. A little bit more. A little bit more. That's it. Now give me a boost. Give you a boost. Oh, oh! Oh, oh, Lucy. Lucy, get your flipper out of my face. Oh, I'll try again. Ready? Yeah. Go. Go? Yeah. There, I got it. Okay. These flippers weren't made for climbing. <laughs> Lucy, don't look down. You might get dizzy. I mean, you might get dizzier than you are. <laughs> Will you cut that out? Jerry, you stop that! Oh, Mom, I just want to watch. You get down from there this minute. Yes, Mom. Gee, what was he doing? Oh, he was standing on top of the fence. I don't know why children do such dangerous, stupid things. <laughs> oh, brother. Come here, Greenback. Come here, Greenback. Oh, 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 oh. Lucy, answer the phone. It's scaring the bird. Well, it's not doing me any good either. <laughs> oh. Operator, operator, give me the police. The police? Yeah, there's some fruitcake up on the roof wearing flippers and a grass skirt yelling, eat, eat, eat. And there's another fruitcake trying to catch her in a net and put her in a cage. Oh, come now. The police would never believe a story like that. <laughs> oh, some nut. Oh. Here, Greeny. Here, Greeny. Come on, baby. Come on, Birdie. Come. Oh, come on. I, I got an idea. You see this thing? Yeah. This is a seat that the telephone men use. It is? Yeah. What are you going to do, Lucy? I'm going to get in here. I'm going to push off. Don't hurt my grass skirt! Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, man, for heaven's sake. We don't 
get this bird, you'll never get any place. It won't matter whether you got a grass skirt or not. <laughs> Have a sake. Now, I'm gonna push off and I'm gonna get you, you little rascal. <laughs> okay. Smarty pants, I'm blasting off again, greeny weenie. Heaven, you're here, Sam. What's the matter, Mr. Mooney? I need some tranquilizers for Greenback. She's had a frightening experience. <laughs> really? What happened? Well, foolishly, I left the poor little bird with the biggest bird brain in town. <laughs> but she escaped and flew right home to her daddy. But she's a nervous wreck. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. Yes. You know, if these bird tranquilizers don't work, you may have to take her to see a psychiatrist. Yes, I probably. A psychiatrist? For pets? Yeah, one just opened an office here last week. I got his card right here. Dr. Marshall Belson, pet psychiatrist, PhD. PhD? Parrots, horses, and dogs. <laughs> but I hear he's pretty good with cockatiels, too. <laughs> These should fix her up. Put them on my account, will you? Sure, Mr. Money. Oh, Sam. I have a hunch that the woman who allowed Greenback to escape will come in here to buy another cockatiel. Now, if she does, phone me. I'll be right next door at the bank. Then you stall her till I get back. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, uh, how will I recognize her? Oh, you can't miss her. Her hair's dyed, and her brain isn't too long for this world either. <laughs> What can I do for you, ladies? I've got to have a cockatiel right away. Cockatiel? Yes, please. Oh, a cockatiel! Yes, do you have a well, cockatiel? Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Oh, good. But, uh, would you excuse me for a moment? i got to make a phone call. Oh, of course. Thank you. I don't think we'll find another one that looks just exactly like Greenback. Well, we've got to if we expect a full movie. Oh, the fair of the turtles. Oh, I bought a turtle in here once that just hated me. <laughs> well, how can you tell when a turtle hates you? He kept trying to rub my name off of his back. Oh. <laughs> Listen, Viv, where do you think Greenback is? Halfway to Capistrano. <laughs> she was a cockatiel, not a swallow. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Oh, that's now, right. what kind of a cockatiel did you want? Well, do you have one with a green back and a, and a blue dot on its left wing that says E Pluribus Unum? No, but I got a black-coated minor bird that says hello, goodbye, and rat fink. <laughs> no, no, that's no good. How about a parrot that sings hello, Polly? <laughs> no, this is the cockatiels, please. Follow me to the bird. Okay. Hello, goodbye, rat fink. <laughs> Interested? No, no, I've got to have a cockatiel. This way to the birds, ladies. Rat fink! Oh, about Rats, that. Thank he said. Oh, look at them. There's some cockatiels. Oh, look at the, oh, oh, all. How about that one over this there? This one here? That one? Yeah. That one right over there in the corner. That looks kind of like it. No, Which one, see, that one's too, too fat, too fat. Too fat. Much yeah. fatter than the other one. How about this one right here? Over there. Over there. Yeah, how about that one? You want that one here? Oh, I don't know. No, his ears don't look the same. <laughs> Cockatiels don't have ears. Well, he doesn't look the same where his ears are supposed to be. You know what I mean. Excuse me. How about that one back there, Viv? Huh? Look, gee, they all look sort of alike. Oh, There's one down there, the little blur. Isn't that color? a cute one? Yeah. Hey, how about that one? We're sitting up there with that little Yeah, thing. get it for me, will okay. you, Viv? Well, look at him. Come here, little bird. Come here, little cockatiel. Come here, little cockatiel. Oh, he bit my finger. Which one? That blue one. He must be a friend of that turtle I bought. <laughs> I'll you get, get it, Okay. That one right up there? Yeah. Huh? It looks like it's got kind of the same. Oh, Ooh. aren't they the cutest little thing? <laughs> Isn't that darling? Oh, he's got a white dot, though, instead of a blue one. 
Oh, well, I'll put some blue eyeshadow on it. Yeah. Mr. Mooney, what a pleasant surprise. Oh, oh Mr. Uh, uh, One of the little bells, please. Oh, lady. Oh, why, Mr. Mooney, what am I doing here? I mean, what are you doing here? Well, I was buying a homecoming gift for Greenback. What are you doing here? Uh, well, we were buying a going-away gift for Greenback. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good, a going-away <laughs> present, yeah. yeah. Oh, we got so we just love that bird. Yeah, we just love, just love him. Isn't that nice? To know Greenback is to love her. <laughs> By the way, uh, uh, Greenback uh, gets lonesome. Who's watching her now? Oh, we hired a babysitter. Right. I mean, a bird sitter. <laughs> uh, is, is something wrong with you? No, no. Why do you ask? Oh, you mean, uh, well, whatever Viv hums, I, I can't help dancing. Mrs. Bagley isn't humming. Oh, I was just about to start her. Yeah. <laughs> to get more fun out of life, try dancing. Yeah, oh, thank you. Can't you stand still? Did you ever try to stand still with a bird in your blouse? <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, Mrs. Carmichael. Yes? After work, I'll stop by your house and pick up Greenback. You will? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll, sh we'll sure hate to lose her again. I mean, see her go. Oh, I know how you feel. I can hardly wait to see her again. Oh, me too. Yeah. Well, goodbye, ladies. Goodbye. He's gone, he's gone. Oh, boy. Sir, we found the bird we want. Well, which one is it? Well, it, it, it's this one right here. I'll uh, put it in the cage. Okay. That'll be six dollars. Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh! Fish bowl. Oh, lady, look out! Well, my purse fell in the fish bowl. Those are piranha fish. So what? I'm not bothering them. They're man eaters. Ah! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're lucky, lady. They'll devour anything. Oh, well, my, my money is in my purse. Oh, well, I'll get a hook and get it out. Excuse me. Oh, my. Pardon me. Oh. Mm. the silliest thing I ever heard. That's what I told Viv. Uh, why does she have a white spot on her wing instead of a blue one? Oh, uh, uh, the fall scared her so much that she turned white. That's right, that's right. That's actually what happened. It's just one of those crazy things. Oh, well, this seems to be a day for crazy things. Oh? When I went home for lunch, the strangest thing happened. A bird flew through my window that looked exactly like Greenback. Really? Yes, yes. She landed on my shoulder, kissed my cheek, but instead of saying E pluribus unum, it said, uh, give Lucy more money. Well, what do you think of that? I think you are an irresponsible nitwit and that that bird is a cheap fake. It's not cheap. It cost me six dollars. Well, you take your bird and I'll take my cage. Leaving my precious green back with you was like leaving General Custer with Sitting Bull. <laughs> Boy, he was mad. And I don't blame him. You certainly were a bird brain to keep the door of that cage open. Me a bird brain? You were a bird brain for not watching the cage. Oh, look who's calling who a bird brain. <laughs> You're both bird brains. <laughs> <laughs>
The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Pennsylvania. <laughs> Do they hula in Harrisburg? Only if nobody's looking. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you think Mr. Mooney would loan us enough money to get to Hawaii? Oh, sure, if we went by surfboard. <laughs> oh, I'm just dying to get there. I'm doing fine in my hula lessons. Watch me now, Lucy. Um, that ain't feeling funny. Every movement has, a, has some sort of a meaning. It really means something like that. Now, what does this one mean? It means you're not wearing a girdle. <laughs> well, I look a lot better with my grass skirt on, but I just washed it. You washed it? Sure, what'd you expect me to do with a grass skirt? Mow it? <laughs> Get down, will you, Bill? Okay. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Mooney. Mrs. Bagley, you look lovely today. And Mr. 